Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. Uh, we're on TV. Here we go. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines. And live forever. Here we go. Living again. On Tuesday, this thing, you know, the days, sometimes it's hard to change the days. It's, it, there's uh, some steps when I come in here. I should be writing tape down yesterday, but I have yesterday's tape in the machine. And I take the tape out, and then I write the day before his day, and then I change the day. That's the, the thing. But I always forget to do this, so maybe I should be doing the writing and the changing the day before, but then how will I know which day I did it on, so... Maybe if this system works most of the time, then it's okay. I just sometimes, I think about once a week, I forget to change this thing. But at least today I noticed immediately. Tuesday. That's the day. So if you're looking at the thing and you can become confused immediately off the bat, uh, future probably organizers, you know. So, whoa! Uh, uh, There it is. So we'll leave that going for a minute here, and then we know what day it is, actually. Sometimes, do you know, it's like, what day is it? I don't know. I do know. Today I know, I guess. 23rd, Tuesday, that was right, 2957. Yes. Machines? No. Glitching. Glitching out. Crazy. Uh, what are we going to do today? Like, live? Make some phone calls? Look at... The thing, maybe we're gonna try to call uh, Yellow Fellow because it's the afternoon, so maybe he'll be available. It'll be three o'clock for him. Maybe we're gonna try to talk to others. I, her bird might be here today. So I said two o'clock yesterday, and it's a little bit before two o'clock. Oh, oh, where's my, did I get a fork? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Far East Restaurant, Far East Restaurant for not forgetting my fork. I, well, I had a little uh, moment of panic there. You ever had a moment of panic when you don't have a fork and you have food? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, then your fork comes back. So what if you don't have a fork and it stays that way? And then your moment of panic becomes, you know, a good half an hour of trying to eat with a bag on your hand. You try to put the bag. <laughs> I think I don't know what I was eating when I had the, well, band, bag hand instead of handbag. It's like a handbag and a bag hand. It's like a small bag. If you can carry it in your hand, it's too small for you. That's a handbag. No, this is my back. It's my back bag. It's not a hand. It's not for my hands. It's for my back. Believe me. I don't. I wouldn't carry a hand bag. And you say, that, that's too small for a back bag. Well, look, look, it goes in your back. But can it not also fit in your hand? Get a bigger bag. Uh, that's what some people would say. Mean people. They don't support handbags, which I support the handbags, I think it's fine. Uh, that bag is only big enough for your back. That's a back bag, some kind of back bag. You can wear a back bag, we can't wear a handbag, I guess. You could though, I could, and I'm, maybe I will. Uh, it's Tuesday, and it's real. Real what? Just real, kind of like very. What, who says very? The Heathers? They're using very like an adjective. That is so very. It's a bit much. I can say that. I got the Chinese food and I had a fork to eat it with. I was close to having no fork, and now it's getting a little bit uh, <laughs> concerned for like two seconds, and now it's haunting me. You ever been afraid for two seconds? It goes away without feeling. It's still there. <gasps> oh, well, it's over now, but I'm I have a feeling. Like you have a feeling. 
don't know if I have a feeling or what. I some kind of, some kind of feeling. I've got a good feeling about this one, or a bad feeling. Woo! Then you feel scared after that, you're looking around. My scare was a fork. You know, you have a pretty good life when they say, what's your biggest fear? And say, not having a fork when you take, take out food. But I have one, and it worked. It all worked out, which I think that's what, how... That's how it goes in general. I think it'll work out. I believe. I believe things will work out, and I don't think we need to uh, be too concerned. I was out there on the streets today. This is extra foggy. I know I talked a little bit about it with Sam last night. But sometimes it's so foggy you can't see in front of your face, but it's a little bit uh, less foggy today, I think. It's like right out there. But like, like last night, I did the show and then I went home and I came back here and doing the show again in the morning. So some of these days you don't know, have too much of a day. Sometimes you got 24 hours, sometimes you only got a sleep break. As I sometimes like to say, but then we could just do two hours in a row. And what would be that much of a difference? Because I'm trying to collect things. So if I wanted to give myself a longer time to collect like things, that would be fine. But I didn't do that today. I stuck just like right on the days. Wake up. Or go to program sleep. Wake up. Program again. A little bit of, uh, you know, TV between those times. So I did watch some TV. I uh, should be watching more Halloween shows, though. Scary, scary TV. I guess it's scary month. I like to keep it scary all the time, I guess. I should take a look at the phone see if Bird's going to make it today. Because he would have been here any time. Well, it looks like Bird did not... Uh, Call, try calling. So maybe that means he's going to be here. I think he said he's going to call if he can't show up, not if he can. So maybe we'll call Yellowfella before Bird gets here. Get some of the stuff through. Here it goes. Yellowfella out there in Philly during the daytime. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six zero zero six three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, yellow fellow. This is the program. Hi, how are you? You can call back. You have about. 46 minutes today. It's the daytime. How about 5 o'clock for you? So if you're awake, maybe you're, you're busy. You busy? Okay, bye. Alright, here's Freddy the producer. I'm in Long Beach. My mom's birthday was I was around the beach walking. 
on the beach. Where, in Hawkesbury? No, uh, Long Beach. Long Beach, where's that? It's on the, it's on the coast of Washington. It's like an hour away, huh? It's like two hours away, yeah. Wow. The north of the Columbia River. Hmm. Well, how's, how is it? Is it foggy? It's raining. Oh. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't raining when we started this walk, but it started raining. What kind of clothes you got? You got a. Uh, you got rain resistant clothes? No, I don't have rain resistant clothes. I do have a hood. My mom and my sister both have rain resistant clothes. But I was not well prepared. I'm wearing. Uh, wearing just jeans, and I don't have a change of pants. Hmm. Like a beach clothes. Yeah, I needed. I needed some uh, like rain pants, probably. Oh, yeah. I didn't prepare. They say like wear beach clothes, and that means a rain suit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not a not a bikini or whatever. Right. Oh, it's good though. It's nice out here. Real Western Washington beach weather. You know? Yeah. That's what I always okay. think the beach is. I, I I I don't know if I've ever been to one of those beaches with the where it's all sunny and stuff, but I don't I don't know if I would like it as much as this beach. Uh, we went last year, you know, around this time for a tour. Oh yeah. Tour. It was still pretty cold though. Yeah, that's true. I guess that was supposed to be where it's hot, maybe sometimes. Yeah. Very windy. Good. John yeah, Webster's out of the hospital. Oh, good. Did you talk to him yet? No, I tried calling. Well, I think I'm going to stop calling. I tried calling him. And then uh, the, his assistants, they said, like, hey, you want to talk to him? And John goes, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I remember that. So yeah. that was after he got out of the hospital. So maybe we'll, I'll, like, he's uh, taking, he's like, uh, uh, he doesn't want to talk about his, his hospital visit or something. Yeah. Cool. Well, hopefully, I'm glad he's alive at least. Yeah. I don't think he knew who it was. I saw that episode. I don't think he knew it was you, though. And I didn't want to talk on the phone in general. Yeah. But, I don't know, he might have known who else was calling him at night, I guess. I don't know. But maybe, maybe he doesn't think about it like that. Right. I'm like, uh, I don't... I'm getting paranoid. I'm like, you don't want to talk to me. Yeah. It's like, remember when you called David to the heart and he's just like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it's me. The phone is breaking up a little bit. I think you're probably out of reception. How's the production going? Uh, it's going good. There's four weeks out on the same weekday thing. is working out really well. Um, so I am, it is also going great, so it's a good time for the program. Good. All right. Well, we walked all the way from Long Beach to see you. Um, I think we're going to call my dad and have him pick us up in the car. Sounds good. The phone seems to be breaking up a bit. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye, program. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> Was Freddie on the beach? On the what? LBC? No, not California. LB with W. Oh, this is nice my phone. phone. Leave your name and number and she'll call you back as soon as you can. Thank you. Oh, thank you, me. Hello, Grandma. It's Kenny. Are you there? Hello? 
don't think you can hear me on the message from the message machine. Andrew. Hello. Okay, bye. Well, I don't know where they are. I don't know if we should call Andrew. If Grandma's not there, call Andrew on his cell phone. He does not answer. That's what I think people should do. I mean, I think they do do. Things are different during the day. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three, zero, or eight, four, nine, one is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello, Andrew. It's the program. Hi, how are you? Uh, you can call us back. You have about 40 minutes today. Don't be answering grandma's phone either. Is she bowling? Are you bowling? Okay, bye. You've been bowling before? Alright, well, it's the phone stuff, I guess. Without the messages. I think Bird is somewhere, maybe. Or, uh, I don't know. I kind of want to call John Webster, but like I, like I was telling Freddy, last time I tried to call him, he goes, No, 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 no! So, maybe he, uh, he doesn't want to talk. Where does he want to talk on the phone? It's hard to tell. I don't know what it is. But I do kind of want to know what, what happened to him. Maybe it's private though. It's like bunion talk. I'm like, I want to talk about your bunion. John, you ever had a bunion before? I think I was like into talking about bunions like years ago. From there's some bunion talk. It's my favorite topic, I guess, is like other people's ailments or something. Where's the, oh, this thing, it's 2016, it's already in there. Whoa, scary, eh? Hey, hey Bird. Commercial. Yay. Where Where you? You? Oh, Bird was here. This is in 2016. Bye. 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 Interesting, awkward. Oh, scary, eh? Hey, it's Bird. Commercial. Yay. Hey. What did you talk about, Bird? Television. Cool. Uh, today Bird didn't bring his ballot, but we still talk Hello. stuff. We're talking about the election a little bit. We're getting um, gas prices. Dark. Yeah. It's dark today. We're How the gas prices is going to go down. It's almost Halloween. We're on every night at 1130 and 21. Tomorrow's the last day of scary month. 360 Are we ready? Are you ready? Why is it the last day of scary month? Year, oh, it's because you're doing that week thing? I mean, next year. Week. <laughs> Bye. 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 We're about 2017. See, Bird was there in 2017 also. I'm not, I'm not sure about it. I don't think he would be, actually. I'm going to guess no, but... Maybe I'm being pessimistic. Is that's missing this. That's missing this. Last. That. I think it's this day. Yeah. 22. Next 23. The past. That was a kind of a weird record day. We're still getting back to the swing of things. When we're in the studio. It's this day, the 23rd. I'm alive, you're alive. Ten fingers back in the studio. Feels good. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. It's this one. What am I waiting for? They got all those, uh, you can see those bags are being unpacked from the, uh, like, uh, the past. Like we're from the tour trip. And some of those bags are like lying around me still. I guess that bag made it out of here.
Maybe. Time within a few weeks that this will happen, or within a few days even, maybe. Well, zoom in, zoom. There they go. People downstairs were alive. Things are happening. Uh, remember the regular clips? Remember how everything's regular time sometimes? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh, we're trying to catch up to today. We're only a few hey, months Hey, future, it's us, the past. Right, oh, past. Time. Uh, Thursday. Oh, I've had a lot of week talks. Yeah. Thursday's the middle of the day of the week. Are we going to do uh, implementation? What are we going to be today? It's uh, Thursday. Bye. Bye. Us, the past. Oh, hi, past. It's Friday, and they're uh, doing the construction. They're gonna block me in today. It's early today, and we're living like it's like the they put the thing right like, right up to half the door, and they're gonna put the other half next, and they're gonna block me in maybe. Uh, Probably the the construction. What's going on, huh? Be good. Is that June? Bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hi. Yeah. Say something to the future. Uh, are you still alive? Don't yeah. hang yourself. Bye. Don't hang yourself like Anthony Bourdain. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hey, I What do you have to say? In the future, he likes monkeys. Yeah. All right, thanks, Future. It's uh, Sunday. Bye. I uh, like Bye. monkeys, huh? Now, in the future. Hey, I don't have a problem. Hey, hey, Future. It's us, the past. Hey. Hi, past. Uh, what's it like in the future? It's great. It's um. Oh, I'm in Ellensburg. It's a crazy place. I saw a, a, a scary face in like a wood pile. Oh. Bye, Future. I remember that, this stuff. That's the past. Hey, if I catch you watching Friends, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, no. It's uh, Tuesday the 12th. Oh, that mic was still working? I don't know when that mic ate it. Somehow it ate it. Hey, future, it's us, the past. I thought that mic was just, like lying uh, around here somewhere, here too. We're here today. It is Wednesday the 13th, and things are happening. Life is happening. They finished the life. cement outside. They told me I could walk on it. What is cement? How does it go and turn into hardened things out of paper? Uh, yeah, it's like a liquid. Round up rocks and stuff. Dust rocks and then concrete. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. Hey, future. Hey, you know what's not funny? Killing dogs. Yeah, don't kill, yeah, don't kill dogs. Bye, future. Kind of joke, it was on some show on like Friends hey, or Golden Girls or something. Hey, future, it's us, the past. It is Friday. Friday. It's hot. Yellowfellow's back in Philly. Dan Dobler's going to the reef. Freddie found some rocks. Today is a good day, but it's getting hot. Too hot for a bag today. It was almost no deal. It's like, I mean, you can deal with the bag or you can't deal. And I did deal, but it might be the last dealing time. And I'm going to have to not deal later on. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future. It's us in the past. What do you have to say to the future? I don't know. You don't know. Orange Julius. Bye. Bye. One of my marijuana plants is looking super, super thing. Oh, uh, yeah, which one? Hey, Future! Hey, Future, it's us the past. Hey, hey, Future, if you're gonna store dead bodies in your apartment, put them in cat litter. Or, no, it didn't work, though, they got caught. <laughs> uh, don't, don't. Bye! Bye! Bye. It's the past. It is Monday the 18th and I'm alive. It's hot. Very hot. You know, too hot. Um, I'm going 
going to do. I got to get some, uh, one of them swamp pools. I saw one on, on the, on the, uh, what? The store, at the store. Maybe I can get one. I'll get by. Uh, swamp cooler. Oh, it's getting hot, huh? Hey, Make me traumatized. Future, Remember when it was too hot? Fast. It's real hot today. Like oh, actual no. heat. Uh, That's bad. It's Tuesday. It's like 90 million. I don't like when we're thinking about that. Uh, heat Michigan stuff. for like half an hour about road rage a little bit. And um, my brother was there, Dan Dobler. It's a good time. Show's almost over. Okay, bye. Loss. Hey, future, it's us in the past. Hey. What do, you, what do you have to say to the future? Uh, hang in there. Hopefully you're still there. Oh, yeah, maybe we should call Bird anyway. And, uh, just, you know. I don't know, Bird. Listen to your gut. And All right, bye, future. Bye. I'm listening to my gut. I saw you, Bird, and I'm going to call you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I called Bird last night, so it should be on the top of the list. Here it is. <sighs> the bird's driving. Last night he was sleeping. Hey, Bird, it's the program. How are ya? Hey, doing okay. How are you? Real good. Real good. Awesome. What are you, That's good. What are you How's doing? Well, I was thinking about buying a lottery ticket. Mm hmm. Um, so, but um, I'm just uh, I'm just chilling downtown. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I could come over to the studio, I suppose. We got half an hour. It's up to you. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, I, I'm i pretty tired. That's Maybe okay. Hey, for don't worry about day. it. How much, uh, is that, it's still like that one point whatever billion, right? I think so, yeah. Uh, I think the drawing is tonight. So we got to buy it by before tonight to win? Yeah. How many are you going to buy? Probably like 20. <laughs> really? No, no. I don't think so, no. Like but five? I, I, it's usually still the people who win it are the ones who go out and buy like, you know, a lot of tickets. Really? I think. Yeah, because, you know, you increase your odds every time. Like, yeah, but it's know. still like... I don't know. I guess one. If you buy one, is you have like a one in a billion chance. If you buy two, then you have like a one in uh, five hundred million. I guess it's it lowers it, but yeah. still. Yeah. If you buy like four hundred of them, you know, then you're like you're you're really upping your odds. It's a it's an investment. You're not, definitely not guaranteed to win, but you're no not, way. Well, you, then you have like a like a four hundred to a, to a billion chance, which is still very very low. Yeah. I might go yeah, buy a, a couple just because. You're right. Yeah. You know, buy one just for just for kick. Yeah. Because it's like oh. I like gambling and you just like that feeling of waiting. Yeah, it's true. But I, from what I hear, the, you know, people who win it are the ones who uh, they they really invest some money in it. Well. Which is not to say that's a good idea. Or anything, but you know, kind of probably you know, lots of people do that. Probably tons of people do that and never win, and then they're broke. That's true. Yeah, that's I think that's called uh, gambling addiction yeah. or something like that. It's kind of crazy. The state runs the gambling thing. People have a gambling problem, they're still going and buying all those tickets, and they're kind of taking advantage of their own community. Yeah, I think. Uh, Part of their part of the proceeds go toward uh, therapy, like you know, addiction management stuff. <laughs> yeah, but they're creating in the first place. It's like the, the government is like encouraging gambling. Right. 
Yeah, it's uh, like paying for, you know, rehab with uh, alcohol taxes and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like, how come we can't just gamble? Can I just like, like, like have my own lottery, but the lottery is like everybody that gives me the money and then we just, somebody wins that money back and I just take 10%. Yes. But you can't do that. Uh, I think you're right. Yeah. You're like not supposed to do that, but the government's doing that. Why can't I just do that? seems like it's like. A way to make money, to start like getting everybody to do give you a dollar, and then you you do the thing, but you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, it's true. I, don't I think know. it's probably it's probably worth the investment, though, a little bit. You know, <laughs> if you do win, you know, then you can, uh, you can give all your friends some money. You know. Yeah. Make them happy. Well, if you win, though, and then you. Give all your friends money. They're just going to want more. Well, if I win, I'll make a special deal with you right now. If I win, I will give you a bunch of money. <laughs> and how much are we talking? Maybe like, uh, you know, maybe enough for a down payment on a house or something like that. Yeah. All right. So, Thank you. Yeah. Yes. If I win... I would never tell anybody. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I already yeah. won. I would only tell you. Okay. You're the only person I would tell. All right. Well, that's good. Um, I'm trying to, what, what, what would you do if you won? I think that the, whoever wins this power thing is going to be, they're going to be big in the news. Everybody's going to want to know who wins. Yeah, but you can you can be anonymous. You don't have to tell anybody. No, you you I think at least in Washington state you do have to that's part of the rules. Uh you have to there's like certain things like you know they hand you the big check so some people like to like hide behind the check but the name is always published. Really? I'm going to try to yeah. get it. I mean you can't be like, maybe you can pay pay him off and say, I don't want him to get published. Here's a million dollars. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I'm too scared to play this thing, you know? I don't even know. But I think I have to. I have to try. Yeah. I might try too. But the thing is, when it's, like, when it's so much money, everybody buys them, and then there's multiple winners because it's like crazy. It gets stricken and crazy. Yeah. That's a good thing, though. I mean,. One point six billion, like, you know, if you took the lump sum, that would be something like eight hundred million, you know, yeah, something like that. That's outrageous. That's like, you know, that's so much money. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like, you know, you can buy a like a super fancy luxury yacht for, you know, a lot less than that. And so you could have like seven mansions and an airplane and a yacht and yeah, you know that's it's kind of crazy. It's too much stuff though. Obviously, you got to keep enough money to maintain all that stuff too. So yeah, I I don't think I would do. I would try to get just stay small, keep living small. Yeah, you would probably give all your money away to a charitable cause. Well. I don't. I don't think those chair. I don't believe in the charities. I think that they're corrupt. Oh yeah. What about the puppies? You know, would you give it away for like you know, taking care of puppies? To who? I just don't think people. If I give money to people, I don't think they're gonna do what the money. They're gonna. They're not gonna use the use the money correctly. Oh. Like they're like I'll I'll, I'll watch these puppies and then you give them. The puppy money, and then they go, and they they're gonna go buy liquor. Yeah, well, maybe you need to start your own foundation then. Yeah, but how, how can you ever? It's like how can you ever trust the poor with your money? Yeah, you know, it's like once yeah. you you have the money, you start getting uh, dubious. Hog in a parking spot in the Lucky Seven right now. Mm hmm. What are you gonna get? Well, I'm thinking about going and buying a, a uh, oh the tickets, you know, a, yeah, a, yeah. 
The Powerball is really high, too. Mm. The drawing for that isn't until tomorrow, but... How much is that one? Um, $620 million. Wow. It's getting up there. Is there are those, are those national or, or uh, states? Uh, those are... Um, those are national, I believe. Mm. Both. Yeah. Multi-state. Something like 30 states, maybe even more. Mm, yeah. Well, I, thought, I still think I'll do it. I don't know if I can just buy it from the machine. I don't have to, like, uh, buy it from the counter, right? I can just, like, at the grocery store? Yeah. Because then, you know, yeah, that's, I, you can say, like, I'm going to buy, if you want to buy, like, a lot of them, and you want to keep it to yourself. Yeah. True. I have lost, yeah. yeah, I lost, I went gambling at the casino not too long ago, and I did not win. But, I don't know if I thought I would win yeah. or what. Uh, I think the audio is breaking up a little oh, bit on can us go fast. here. All right, well, good luck, Bird. Hopefully you win. I want some money. Can you hear me? Yeah. You're, um, you sound kind of like Max Hedrum there a little bit. It's, What's that? It's bouncing. Max Hedrum? All right. Well, hey, Bird, thanks okay. for uh, talking. We'll call. We'll talk to you later. Can't, I can't hear you at all now. Oh, good, good luck on winning. Bye. All right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Good luck. Okay, let's record the new message to the future. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's see what's on the Twister tape. Twister. Oh, what about this thing, too? Did I find Twister? Thought I did. It's from 2012. Have we looked at this tape yet? Seems like it's pulled out. Maybe we did. Replay other days. <laughs> Big D, I am your father. <sighs> huh. <laughs> what was that? Whoa. Who's What should the title be? Hey everybody, it's your day. Yeah! Hey everybody! Howdy! Look at that! It's your day on with me! Hey, hello! We're on TV! What's the day? Every day I turn on the shoes and then we start talking and we're gonna be here. Yeah. If so you, you, you stick around. If you've never seen the program before, you can call it. It's a call in show. Up there, you can call that number. 330-536-3802. Yeah, get on TV. Give that a call. Probably, uh, we, won't, we might not be live if you're watching this on TV. Uh, you can give us a call and... Uh, leave a message and we'll call you back on the next episode of the program we tape every day so if you call us and we don't pick up you will get a call back within the next 24 hours and you know based on statistics that i've seen most likely if you see this right now especially at the moment that you're watching it it's probably about 11 31 and there was a commercial on the other show that you were watching uh, and you started flipping through channels and oh, you see. bumped into this show and you're hearing you say this right now and the other show you were watching, it might have started getting boring, and that was why you were like, ah, I'm not going to stick around for the commercials. And now you saw this, and you're having a ton of fun hearing us, or I mean, whatever. We might still be bored, but at least it's not a commercial, you know. It's definitely not a commercial, and there's not going to be one commercial aside from good commercials. <laughs> not the boring ones. Yeah. Yeah. We got a text here. The first one says, call me when you get this. It's very important. Ooh. 
very important text from a uh, it's texter. It's from Sadie. Oh, it's Sadie. It's pretty late. Hmm. It's kind of late though, but should we call her? And she says it's very important. Very important, okay. So, if it's very important, I think she might be a later, late night there, but she also... If it's very important, I mean, you know, you we just gotta call. It's important time concern. Very know. important. Very important. <laughs> you notice, viewers, we're wearing jackets. Oh yeah, I'm cool that there. You probably noticed that. You noticed that side of the show, but now you notice anything. I'm glad about the weather. Yeah. The heat was not good for electronic equipment or anybody really. Yeah. Physical equipment, like people equipment. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey Sadie! Hold on a second. What? Hold, did you say hold on? Hold on. What? You heard there's an important message. Yeah, we're, uh, we're on the program. How are you doing today? Did we wake you up? Where are you? Did, oh, we're, we're in the studio here, in your garage. Are you on? Oh, oh she's in there. Here she comes. All right. <clears throat> so uh, any calls out uh, tonight? We're we're broadcasting or recording at the time when the uh, the show is happening. We could be getting some phone calls. No, that maybe. was already that already happened. Oh, we we saw it. Remember? Did we miss any calls from that though? Hey, you're Sadie. Oh. Where's the hola? Where's the other mic? Yeah. On TV. Hey. So. I was I was bed. <laughs> What's oh? What's uh? The effect of one. So something very important is happening, yeah. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. Oh. Wow. Uh, I already told Freddy. Yeah. They're gonna move the studio. Oh wow. Cause they're gonna fix up the door right here. Oh, the door. The door, yeah. This we have been so, having a door that it doesn't work at all. It fell off the. Yeah, no, that's the deal. We have to clean all of this out. Uh huh. But and then we can we put it back in when, when the door is fixed. Yeah. Oh, great. That sounds like, like an exciting time. We have a space actually at the old studio there at the house when we like from many years ago. So we're going to be moving. When is that going to happen? Um, I don't know. I haven't gotten the dates yet. I got the email last night. Uh huh. And I have all these dreams about it though. Whoa. About like you guys, and I was like, no, I don't want. I don't want them to leave. Uh huh. So, um, but they're gonna get rid of like all this like excess shit, like all this stuff. Like all the shelves and stuff? Um, no, not the shelves, like, but I can eat, they just want us to like move everything out, but like all this like flooring and stuff right here, uh -huh. cause they redid our bathroom last year. Oh, so great. They're just like removing all the excess like housing shit. How long do they think it's gonna take to clean up the garage? They don't have a, a time schedule. Well, well, that'll be fun. We'll, we'll see how that goes. We're going to be moving out of here for like a... I guess we're going to take a little studio vacation. Sounds like viewers for maybe a, a week. Well, Get I some think, warm shores. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some uh, so we'll, beaches. Yeah, we'll figure that out in that one hour. We'll be going on a little uh, trip. A studio trip. We're going to take the studio down the street and come bring it back, though. So that'll be good. But it's going to be remodeled. So we're, what, what's pretty much happening, we're, we're remodeling the studio. Yeah. Well, just making it so that door actually closes it yeah. and isn't going to kill any of us, so... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we just don't use it. Probably if we tried to, it would probably yeah. kill Yeah, remodel. You know, there's, a, there's a plan in the works for um, how we're going to handle the remodeling, though. Yeah. What? We were talking about it earlier. What's the plan? Uh, uh, the plan, you know, is a, is a part of my internship here with the show. Uh huh. I was thinking this about. Is your internship? Yeah, but uh, that was I was the thinking intern, about yeah. possibly figuring out exactly how all this happens, mm -hmm. as far as the um, connecting stuff to other stuff happens. Yeah, how's it happen? And what you need, and then putting it in this room that I know about that we could do it in for a short amount of time until we yeah, come back okay. here after the remote. No, no it's going to get really cold in here, guys. It gets freezing. <laughs> so he's oh, trying yeah, to get us out of here? Mean, there's no heat, but we have a, a heater. We have our own heater, yeah. yeah. We, we've suffered. He <laughs> said he wants you to leave. We were in a garage last winter. And Not getting the hint of leaving. Dude, he's like, you know, it's going to be cold. And hard to live here. 
Maybe you might want to find a better place to go. We're not picking it up. The hint. I didn't record a message in the future yet. Did we, did we even queue this up? Or is it already queued from yesterday? Here's the queue. I'm going to queue it up now. Okay, bye, future. Hey, future, hey, future, it's us of the past. It's Tuesday, and uh, it's like real. We looked at 2012 a little bit. Uh, it's the daytime. Who's around? The water ticket's real high. Things. Beliefs, you know. My future. Alright. Now I'm going to look at this. Let's look at a couple of weeks. What, two weeks? Do we have time for two weeks? I would like to have time for two weeks. Here's where we find out. Okay, we're gonna count down the weeks. 23rd, we're gonna be going to the 9th. 22, then 21, counting down. 21, then 20. Nineteen. Eighteen. You ready to count down to, to, to what did I say? Nine? Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Sixteen? Oh, double fifteen. That's why. You got to change that day on the machine. Past and future. Don't you know about the thing? Uh, fourteen. 13, going backwards to 9, to Tuesday, Friday, Thursday, this is double Wednesday, yep, double Wednesday, Wednesday, 1, Wednesday, 2, and then Tuesday, this one, this one we're going to look at, oh, really, with Bird? Two weeks ago, huh, Bird? Future greetings. Yeah. Yeah. It's fall. Leaves are yellow. Lucky for me. Cars are driving by outside. Hi, future. The bus. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Look, it's uh, uh, here Wednesday, the 10th, 10 10. 10. Uh, they made Captain Crunch bigger, apparently. Bye, future. Hey, future. It's us, the past. What do you have to say? It's um, another. I might not be alive at this point in the future. But I am in a way because I'm on. I'm being record. I have this recording of my Yeah. It's like you're a ghost. Your daily hour with me. Yeah, ghost I'm life. Ghost right now. Bye, future. Bye. It's uh uh here Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, even though the thing was the the, the day was wrong. We're talking about uh. Say some of the future. What? Say some of the future. Some of the future. Bye, future. Um. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hey, past. Yeah, it's us. We're still here. Way back in the past. Yeah. Lid, don't, don't. Kill yourself. Bye, future.
<laughs> Don't kill yourself. It's a good idea. I've been saying that a lot recently. Hey, future, it's us the past. Look, I'm in the corner. With the plants. It's uh, Sunday. John Webster's out of the well, hospital. Oh, they started doing that banging. Uh, everything's going fine. Blink. Like Blink. Time, Blink. Blink. Wow. All right. Thanks, future. Bye. Hey, future. It's us, the past. It's the thing. Look, I got the phone number back up there with the national anthem a little bit. I'm going to go with the day. I think we'll be having the phone number. I'll try to get the day on there. Now I'm going to do this. i move the thing. It's Monday. Mm. I'm going to roll around back to the weeks. It's like, it seems like the days are going to It's like, oh, the day is going to go back, but then it's a circle. You know about the circle of future? Bye. Bye, Monday, that was uh, yesterday? Oh no, this is a week ago still. We only got five minutes, we're gonna make it through this week in five minutes. What to invest in, and if so, how rich are you? You don't need things to be happy, future, okay, bye. You don't need things to be happy. That's the past, I keep up the tipper and learn something and destroy everything. It's Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Uh, and is it going out with grandma? Mm. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Hey, hey future. Hey. Say something to the future. Hi, future. Uh, you got nothing. You got, you got nothing. nothing. Uh, eat cows. Cows are good because they have it's lots of stomachs. Friday. Hey. Hey. Bye, future. Bye. Bye. Don't kill yourself. Don't play with firearms. Don't shoot yourself for others. Sunday. It's the future. A few days ago. The audio is in and out. Maybe I need to get a new headphone adapter. That's probably why the audio is so crazy recently. Can't monitor correctly. You're going to record an eighth adapter. I got to find one. Hey, future. It's us. The past. So now it's back to working. At least I figured it out. Book Sam Miller. Uh, well, yesterday. The show is going to be coming on November. <sighs> mm. oh, I wrote it down. Seven. November seventh, yesterday. Or I mean, a couple weeks, I guess. The day before we leave, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Bye, future. The day after we're going. We're hitting the road. Future, hey future, it's us of the past. It's Tuesday and uh, it's like real. We looked at 2012 a little bit. Uh, it's the daytime. Who's around? The water tickets real high. The what? Things. Beliefs, you know. Bye, future. Bye. Oh, that was today. I think maybe on that first day we're gonna go take the uh, take the mobile setup to uh, Voyeur over there they call it. So uh, going on our on the tour because the next day we're gonna be going down to Vancouver's. So we'll get there early, try to like set it up. Also at that bar or whatever in the afternoon. I don't know if they're gonna be around for that. 
it's going to be a different kind of place. We're getting down to it. Though. We have like two minutes left today. Thanks to uh, Grandma. Didn't answer the phone, though. But uh, who answered the phone? Nobody? Freddy? Thanks, Freddy. Thanks, past. Thanks, uh, Desmond and Freddy and Sadie from the past. And my past self also. Uh, you know, Bird. Bird was on the phone. Other things. We're making it through. One day at a time. Tune in tomorrow for Wednesday. You know, it's like, wow, Wednesdays. Wednesdays are in, just inherent. Like, you need to try to advertise or something for the next day when it's a Wednesday. It's like, oh, I can't wait for Wednesday. That's what I think. It's like trying to go to sleep. I can't go to sleep. I'm too excited tomorrow for Wednesday. Uh, and I know this is about to go dumb. But I was like, oh, I can't wait for tomorrow's program. I'm going to find the uh, adapter. I'm going to have headphones maybe if I remember to do that. But it's it's hard to remember things sometimes. So I remember all my other things just for myself today. It's like, did I? Did I remember all the things? Okay. I'm pretty sure I got all my things together and that, like... I'm moving forward with time, but sometimes you don't know if you have it all together until it's too late. But you can only hope. You can only well, you can prepare. You can do more than hope. Prepare yourself to be ready for tomorrow or for the next thing. You know, just stay prepared. That's what I, I have to always say. It's like I don't get ready. I am ready. I stay ready. It's Tuesday! We're on TCTV Channel 20 to 1130 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, whitehwm.com. 360836 for 3 or 4. Call and leave a message. Get on TV. Yeah. 19 State Avenue number 3. Check it out. Ooh, we're fighting deers. Fun singers. God bless the USA. TC TV, LeBay by Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, South by Conjure, Mopster, Thurston County, Washington, USA. Thank you. And viewers, it's you. You're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Woo. Woo. Bye.